Hello and welcome to another video and uh, while you're here do me, a, um, do me a quick favor and subscribe underneath and uh, hit that bell so you get notified whenever I upload another video. Um, as I told you earlier I'm a little bit fed up with HF um, operation and I switched to VHF and UHF and um, on the constant pursuit of finding something for a field day or a portable um, radio I found this one here it's an old favorite of mine I had uh, plenty of these before it's the uh, I hope the camera can pick this up the Aesu FT 290R2 and it does one thing only it does two meters so if you're after a 70 centimeter version or a six meter version these are called the 690R2 for six meters and the 790R2 for 70 centimeters um, you might recall that there's also an R1 version of these radios available, but I would say well, well clear of these. They're now too old and um, I hardly ever had one that worked without fault. These ones, however, are sturdy, uh, much more modern, the display is bigger and all in all much, much better built. This one has uh, the uh, battery compartment missing. It's a clip-on compartment. You choose between the battery compartment or a linear amplifier, 25 watts. As it is, it uh, does about 8 to 10 watts in SSB. Uh, you can do FM as well, but uh, it's pointless to use them in, in FM because the optional CTCSS unit here is uh, very rarely available. Uh, I recommend buying one of these only for SSB. Uh, it makes a powerful station at home if you combine it with a small linear amplifier or a high gain Yagi, whatever you prefer, or both for that matter. And um, you can also take it around with you if you buy the battery compartment and uh, connect a small telescopic antenna, go on a hillside, you will be surprised how much DX you can actually work on 2 meters single sideband or CW, if you know how to do CW. More on that in a later video. Comes with this nifty little microphone, up down buttons. Um, make sure the, the radio comes with the, with the appropriate microphone. And other than that, look for the physical appearance, if it's all clean and there are no bleeds on the LCD display. And you got yourself a nice, powerful, portable 2 meter SSB transceiver. So good luck finding one. The street price of these is between, uh, for a good one, between 100 and 200 pounds. Um, sometimes you get them way cheaper for people who don't use them anymore. They just want to hang out on the repeaters. I'm not one of these people, so... Um, yeah, roughly 100 to 150 pounds should get you a good transceiver. The same price applies for the 70 centimeter and 6 meter versions. Good luck finding one. They come up on eBay from time to time. And um, they're small, so trust the seller to pack them properly. There shouldn't be any, any issues. Um, yeah, I had a few of them. I checked our files. We had about 20 or 30 over the years of them, none of which was faulty. So. Um, yeah, great little transceiver. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe, please. Cheers, everybody. Bye.